Bobby Labonte's in it, Strimmy's in it, Jeff Gordon down to the ground. Nothing else coming from behind him. And Kurt Talk Busch went him. over and over. Yeah, and running out of time. I mean, he's, you yep. know, desperate. And, and you see the 36 move down just a little bit. And Yaley, and, uh, and Stenhouse thought he could squeeze by on the, uh, next to the wall, and he just couldn't make it. And this kid's ugly. Watch his thing. Right on top of Ryan Newman. Hadn't Ryan Newman had cars on top of him before here? I think uh, the 2009 race. I think you're right. Brad Keselowski and Carl Edwards coming to the checkered flag. Boyers 15 comes up, clogs the track. Both Labonte brothers involved. Carl Edwards, he opened it up just a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think uh, this is a hard lick right into the fence. I mean, that car, that wow. looked like Bobby Allison did here in 1987. The catch fence did its job Thank and goodness. the car did its job. Thank goodness we have the new, stronger, much stronger, safer uh, catch fences. But watch, the 0 is going to look to the outside where he already has. Carl went up to block him a little bit. Now he's going to come down to try to block him again. And you get one shot at it, but you don't get two. Watch this. What a lick. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Unbelievable. You know, and, and looking very carefully at the catch fencing that held, and I did not see any debris go into the grandstand. Earnhardt on the inside and Sterling Marlin outside. And Ernie going with uh, Earnhardt down on the inside. That's going to oh, trouble. Terrible crash. Earnhardt in the field, all torn up. Earnhardt's number three. So they came off turn two. Pretty sure that the four car got into the back of the 22. Daryl, I got to ask you here. What is, and I know it's happening so fast, but what is Tony Stewart? And Tony Stewart goes for one of the wildest rides in recent memory of Daytona. Kind of looks like the Richard Petty crash here, back when Richard crashed off turn four down here, standing on Look, the Look, he's nose. got Bobby Labonte's hood. It was hooked to the back of his car as he was in midair. Oh, Stewart's trying to squeeze right there in there. Him. Get that hand up into the bottom. Oh, that he just wanted to touch him, man. Just wanted to touch him. Can't get him touch to the right side. Outside. Here he comes. No, there he, he turns him. him. He turns him. Bush in the wall. Oh, here comes Stewart to the checkered Tony flag. Stewart. And another car gets you know, in the backside. You know. It's Casey Kane. And they're scattering oh, everywhere as they come to the line. Some of these guys hit hard, man. And oh, one of them was Kyle Busch. They're still hitting hard. Oh, we got some trouble down the back stretch. Two cars, including Mark Martin, sliding through. Spun us down the back. The inside of the track in our first caution of the night now. Um, and, you know, it's it's one of those deals that's give and take. And I, 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 I don't think Matt thought it, that he was going to come up that quick either. He's driving really defensively right now. He's trying to keep Jeff Gordon behind him. And Jeff is working him over. Look at that. Jeff's going to move him up out of the groove and get by him. Well, Bush is around. Can he save it this time? Oh, there you go. He does. He saves it. But there's a Jeff, Jeff, car Jeff Gordon's the upside down. Jeff Gordon's upside down. And Kurt Busch's car is destroyed. Oh my gosh. That too, he's in that backup car. You see Jeff down there, he just gets down on his left corner, and we've seen that time and time and time again. You got to stay off the left side. What do we do about that, though, man? How do we fix it? The drivers just have to make the decision that they've got to lay off that left side. Look at this long slide for Gordon, and that's Kurt Busch tangled up with him and Jimmy Johnson, and that car still hasn't uh, lost much of its momentum as it goes side over side and comes to rest Michael on made its roof. A really good point, though, Mike. These cars are so much bigger than the cars were five years ago. And turn number two, David Ruderman. Oh, goodness. Six gets like, oh, oh, my gosh. Goodness gracious. Wow. Like Moore said, got into the six car. David Reagan. Oh, my goodness. There was some talk of whether the team. 
whether the team could switch points. Whoa, whoa, oh, guys. Whoa, boy. whoa. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I have never seen anything like that in my life. He hit that wall a ton. Oh, my gosh. That's a part of the racetrack. Oh, oh I, I, I can't even hardly watch that. It's a part of the racetrack, but Murray said was a little slick getting in. Good. Not knowing if Michael changed his line a little bit, got a little too much into that speedy drive. Oh, Gordon comes up. Oh, he, no, gets he, got, he got Kenton. Oh, and there goes Jeff. Jeff's in the inside wall, hard out of the wall. Caution will wave. Caution will wave. The field is frozen. We'll be oh, coming back man. to four to go. Crash on the track. Adam. Just Jimmy talking Hamlin about Denny Airborne, AJ Allmendinger, Jeff Gordon, David Rudeman, Matt Kenseth all involved. He got the 11. Looks like these guys get, you know, he just dove down. Wow. And then corrected maybe. I Yeah, that's really a strange, strange act. Man, Matt did a good job not hitting that car, but then he got clobbered. See Blaney in that. And Blaney had had a good run. Those guys had run in the top 10 or 15 a lot tonight. Another spinner. That's Brad Keselowski going around. This could be oh, ugly. Back up across the track. Oh, big damage. Oh, okay. A number of cars collected. Dave Blaney, Greg Biffle. Yeah, man, whenever and you see Biffle a car coming back fire. across a racetrack like that, you know it's going to be a bad deal. Travis Quaffle nowhere to go. Wow. You think about how great Biffle has been in recent weeks and simply nothing he could do about that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. He got tagged by uh, Kurt Busch, went down on the apron. When he came back up on the racetrack, he got into the left rear of Brad. Nothing Brad could do, like you said. At that point, Brad's for the ride, goes along for the ride, and tore up a lot of race cars right there. Watch the 78 car, goes down on the apron. Then he comes sliding back up, and he just turns the two car. And it's, it, it is a very harsh transition. We saw it during some of the qualifying laps, a harsh transition from um, from the flat up to the race, back up onto the racetrack. Right outside. Watch the, uh, Stewart to the lead at the white flag. We're on the last lap. Will they make it back? Well, he will pass the pass when he's got the 29 pushing him here. Four deep behind Stewart and Kenseth. Yeah, Kevin Harvick's got some real help coming towards the front here. Michael Waltrip in the 55, into the picture, pushed by Casey Mears, Kenseth with oh, Harvick behind him, oh, oh, there's contact, Stewart into the middle of the pack and over. Watch it out. And a huge wreck to end this race. Matt Kenseth is going to get to the finish line first. Well, here it is. Waltrip in the 55, Mears in the 13, Stewart in the 14. You can see Tony just a little bit late in making that move to get back down. Harvick and Kenseth on the outside had a run, so they were literally going to go by him on both sides. Watch the two. The championship leader somehow avoided getting really torn up in that. He looked like Martin Truex was going to get through there. Bobby Labonte caught him right at the end. You know what I love as a driver? You're driving down on the inside. You're in that two car. You're leading the race. Jay Sauter, and everything's going fine. You think you're in the right place, doing a good job. And all of a sudden, a bunch of cars go by you on the outside. <laughs> and you're you so wide open. Say, rock, roll, what? Whoa, oh, trouble. Boy, the man. two car upside down, over and onto Scott Riggs. It's the big one. Oh, boy. Who is that still flipping? Sauter. It was Johnny Sauter. There's not anybody left. I mean, I only see about four or five cars that are coming around through three and four right now that were not in this race. They see Mike McLaughlin in 18. They're still getting upside down people, cars driving under cars. There has to be 25 cars over there. Climbing out, he's okay. Let's Watch the two car. Cause this. Oh, Meal got into Riggs. It looked like Riggs had to maybe back out of the throttle a little bit because Kenny Wallace's car washed up as they come off the exit of turn two right there, the 48 car. Right here, this is turn two. Kenny Wallace, the 48 car right there. 
Oh, I think, I don't know, it looked like Shane Mill possibly just got into the back of the 10 car. The 47 car, yeah. Yeah, got into Riggs. Look at that two flipping. Looks oh, like Rusty boy. Wallace's flip in the number two. See, Tony Stewart just pulled his way through there to get an opportunity. And he's going to have it, too. Final corner at Daytona. Who's going to get here first? Regan Smith, seven. Keslowski, 22. Stewart, 33. And contact. Smith turned around. Tony Stewart is going to win this race. And a terrible crash coming to the finish. And this is a big, big wreck. Kyle Larson's car with the front end severely torn off. 